Good morning, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. Today is October 23rd, 2023. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Late last night at um, 7.23 p.m. local time, you had a magnitude 3.1 earthquake there in the state of Washington uh, near the Puget Sound. Um, your local newspapers are not covering this earthquake, which I find very strange. 146 people said they felt this earthquake. USGS gave an intensity level of 4, but the uh, felt map doesn't have anyone's location published on it. So no news reports from the uh, Tacoma, Tacoma Times or the Seattle Times? Wow, that's odd. Uh, felt reports intensity level 4 means it was felt by many people. Outdoors by a few at night, some may have been woken up. Dishes, windows, doors would have been rattling. And you may have noticed automobiles were rocking. As you know, you are overdue for a very large earthquake. This is the Tacoma Fault. Over the weekend, they closed down one of your bridges there. Deemed it unsafe even for people to walk across it until it's inspected. It's the uh, Fishing Wars Memorial Bridge formerly known as the Puyallup uh, River Bridge. I'll zoom into that. I believe parts of it was built in the 1920s. And as you know, I've talked about uh, many of these bridges collapsing during a large earthquake, and that would hamper evacuations. Uh, USGS has um, a new map for tsunami evacuations walking times. And I'll give you a link to that. Yeah, this bridge is closed and that's going to hamper uh, people commuting traffic. Yeah. So as you know, you would have a lot of debris um, hampering, you know, driving out. So they give walking maps. I noticed this here for La Push. Now that was in the movie um, Breaking Dawn. Uh, we got Copalis Beach to Pacific Beach map. Ocean City to Copalis Beach. Ho, um, quets, etc. So here's one of the maps. I'll make it larger for you. Estimated wave arrival time to the study area. Some areas would come quick, quickly. 30 minutes, 45 minutes, 60 minutes, 15 minutes. The direction to the left, left would be for a 2,000 foot evacuation point. And here it shows the map. Let me bring this down. Okay, and I'll bring it over. So the areas in yellow, you would have about 15 minutes to get out. That's mostly in the Puget Sound area. Really surprised me um, that some of the areas along the coast, they figured you had maybe 76 to 90 minutes. And I'll make it smaller because I really doubt um, much of this would have such a large or long time to get out. Like over here. This here is the map for Ocean City to Copalis Beach tsunami evacuation walk times. Yeah. Of course, I'm considering, you know, um, the Cascadia subduction zone um, break. But maybe they're figuring um, in the area of the Puget Sound, like today's or yesterday's, I should say, 3.1. Yeah, you'd only have 15 minutes to get out. Let me bring bring that into that area. Okay, let's bring it over. This area here, estimated wave arrival time, um, about 35 minutes. And let's bring this down. I guess the little dotted lines are, yeah, evacuation routes. I'll make that bigger for you. If I can, okay. And we'll come up. How far down can I go? Yeah, it's something you should be aware of. Um, please share this for other people that might live in that area. They might not know this here. They got one that 
goes up and around. Yeah, with debris in the road, that would really hamper evacuations. And then you think about people that might be trapped in debris, um, disabled people, uh, people who are handicapped, etc. Okay, they got estimated arrival time here, 20 minutes. So I don't know. Uh, links to these articles will be given to you um, down below in the more information box. They have different landmarks written on here. Here we got the uh, ghost forest. I covered that maybe a year ago, that location. That's where um, in the 1700s the uh, tsunami came in and drowned all the trees in that location. But um, many of the stumps are still visible. Give you an idea how far inland let me bring this over um tsunamis can go look at that okay let's go back up look at that yes please share that information i would like to know if you felt this earthquake i'm really surprised your local papers didn't cover this in their news i might have missed it but i did a search um yeah strange be a good opportunity to tell people to be prepared for a large earthquake. Did you feel it? Uh, I would like to know how long it would have lasted, what the motion felt like, which direction, uh, north to south, east to west, etc. Um, how did your pets react? Did you feel dizzy during that time or afterwards or before this earthquake occurred? Are you earthquake prepared? Do you have a plan? I hope so. Um, please share your information with me. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. As always, be prepared. Please stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.